Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm here in Sakumono village, you know, a place in Accra. This is a very popular place and if you're a Ghanaian or you know you've been in Ghana before and you don't know about Sakumono, like you've really missed it. Trust me, you've really, really missed it. This is Accra, Ghana and I'm in Sakumono. I'm here to tell you and talk about a tree which uh, saved, let me see, should I say saved my life? Uh, today actually I'm heading towards where I can actually get the neem leaves, you know. Last night I nearly died. So this morning I'm walking along the roadside to get some of the neem leaves so that I can prepare it for treatment this morning. Or a tree that helped me during this hard times. I was totally sick and you know what? Let's actually go there. Then I can show you what I'm talking about. You know what? Peace out. Everything you know is in your mind. Yo, what's up people? Good morning. So you know, when we tell you that we have everything in Africa, you actually don't believe it. So you know, when we tell you that we have everything in Africa, you actually don't believe it. Today, I came to a place where I can show you what neem leaves is. And yo guys, look, look, this is neem leaves. And then this, 20 pieces of this, check the price from Amazon, 20 pieces of this or even if they grind this in into um, um what do we call uh, let's see powder form to give it to you just to sell it to you just go check the price and come and let's push africa forward you know what i mean keep it locked and stay cool so there was one time actually where i was so sick and i couldn't do anything and i was some kind of you know uh cold i was feeling cold I, I couldn't do anything all my joints were seriously aching and i just you know i live with my grandma so i know some kind of things like this i i was forced even though i couldn't walk i couldn't do anything i was forced to you know go get namely and that day it was actually around it was actually around 9 to 10 and it took me more than 15 minutes to go get this neem leaves because I actually live in an estate area, you know, that kind of thing. So I had to walk, 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 walk and then I got this neem leaves and then I came home to do what? To wash it. Normally you have to wash it with salt because sometimes, you know, we have some insects around and I washed it and I just boiled it. I just put it on fire and I started boiling. So I boiled it and then when it got boiled, it started boiling up. Guess what? Let me show you what I actually did. I took some of the what? I took some of the, 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 the boiled water in a cup. I placed it down and this is what I actually did with the boiled one. I poured it inside a bucket and then I took it to my room. I picked a cloth, heavy cloth, and then, you know, I covered myself with the boiled water inside the bucket. And, you know, the heat was entering my system, you know, my nervous system and all that, the pulse and everything. And guess what? In that particular process, it was like everything, you know, like I, I was feeling some kind of some energetic system, like, you know, that, that kind of feeling. You see, sometimes when you're sick and you're about to recover, how you feel, you know, you feel like 
you can do this, you can do that, but you still don't have the strength. That was what I was feeling. Immediately after I was done, the one I kept in the glass, I do what? What did I do? With it? I, I just drank it. Like, let me tell you, this thing is very bitter. So, 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 so bitter. So, so, so bitter. So, I drank the little in the cup and then I couldn't even clean myself. You know, I, I actually took the rest of the water in the bucket to the bathroom and then I, I bathed I bath with it and I didn't even clean myself. I just slept. And guess what? In the next morning, it was like a superman. Like, you know, whatever sickness that wanted to attack me, I didn't see it again. So to me, I'm doing this video for you to do what? To do what? I'm doing this, those in Africa here, when you roam anywhere in Africa, especially in a place where you can find a lot of trees, you definitely see some of this uh, neem tree. This is how it is. Sometimes when it's growing, it's very tiny, very small, but after some years, this is how big it looks like. And I would actually recommend this for each and every African. If, if, if you feel you're not feeling well and, you know, just the process that I show you in my video, you know, follow it and you're going to be free. So this is Africa and this is what we have in Africa. If you really need medicinal plants to, 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 to fight any kind of diseases, kindly try and you know meet most of our herbal doctors in africa here and they would actually help you out ask yourself the reason why octodus medicine are getting more popular and we are always buying them but we have this thing all over here sometimes people may not be uh, people may not be uh, uh, be in, in an agreement with me but i would just tell you that you know what after watching this video just find out about this tree and you'll be saved you know what keep it luck and stay cool i can't say everything here and i want to say thank you for watching this video if today is your first time watching my video kindly hit the subscribe button please share don't forget to comment put your you know put your your thought your mind let's let's get interactive in the comment section you know what i mean and the best comment in my comment section it's actually gonna get a feature if if you are in ghana here you're actually gonna get a feature on my channel and you know we got to discuss something you know what i mean keep it luck and stay cool keep it secret see you next time in my episode or no see you next time in my next episode you know what i mean keep it luck it's your boy Phyla. bye <laughs> Try to get up, falling down and rising up again and again. Like the morning sun, darkness always comes proceeding. Yes, you shot, yes, you pierced, and on the ground you're bleeding. Don't you ever doubt.